What's up, y'all? I stayed almighty with an exclusive monumental edition of industry current events. It looks like they finally caught the murderer or the conspirator in regards to the murder of legendary rapper, and in my opinion, the greatest rapper of all time, Tupac Shakur. They arrested Keefe D. This idiot crip who everyone has seen the interview on by this point. The guy's been on Bomb First, I think. He's been on The Art of Dialogue. He's been on DJ Vlad. DJ Vlad had him on first. By the way, don't blame DJ Vlad for this. This guy's an idiot, just like most guys from the street, man. He gets arrested after spending years going and talking about how he was in the car with Orlando Anderson when Orlando Anderson shot and killed Tupac. He's been doing this for years and now he's been locked up. Now, let's get into the conspiracy aspect of this, right? Because there's a lot of different ways we could go with this. For one, right? For one, if they could find Osama Bin Laden hiding in a cave somewhere, right? And Waka Flock and him hiding in the cave somewhere with no Wi-Fi in less than 30 years. It makes no sense that it took 30 years to find the killer of Tupac. It makes no sense. No sense at all. No sense at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is somebody who got shot and killed in front of witnesses, in front of street cameras, because of course there were no cell phones back then. But in front of street cameras, all type of camera footage, in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip. It took them 30 years. And guess what? We still don't know who Biggie's killers are, even though some people may say, you know, they had on bow ties and they represent a certain <clears throat> black organization. But anyways, back to pop, right? So Keefe D, right? He's a dummy. He's an idiot. I thought if you were part of a murder, you don't do interviews. Did he need the money that bad that he decided to go incriminate himself? Because of course he got paid. He definitely would have got paid to do Vlad. And he did Vlad two or three times. So if Vlad the police, man, he helped Vlad do police work. Now here's the thing with me, right? Because... I like to explore the conspiracy aspect of these situations. So I want to speak on it, right? There's a conspiracy that got to do with Tupac where people suggest that everything is orchestrated. They had Tupac um, designed to be the black messiah. And he was part of COINTELPRO and uh, uh, the people who run the country, allegedly, they put him in the forefront as the person for all black people to, to, to look after, adore, follow after, right? And at the end of the day, they got all these videos where they talk about esoteric meanings of videos and, and pictures he's been in and, uh, uh, the, the sinister meaning of him being in the bathtub with the gold on his body and all of that. And, and I'm thinking like this. Is that true? Because if that's the truth, maybe that's why it took so long for them to find his murder. What if Keefe D is just like going to be the fall guy? What if Keefe D already works for the government and... On the outside, they making it look like they locking up Keefe D. But in real life, they got him looking like the full guy so they could just finish the Tupac story, right? And he gonna be in Wissack somewhere. He gonna end up somewhere in middle America or, or <laughs> underground in the underground city that they be trying to say we have all over the internet. Is that what's gonna happen? Is that what's gonna happen? Also, for all y'all people, who be trying to say, um, been trying to say for 30 years, Tupac's alive. Tupac is in Cuba. 
Tupac is in Miami. Tupac's alive. They found a picture of Tupac with dreadlocks in his head. In Cuba. Listen, let me tell you something, man. I just said that the government found Osama bin Laden in a cave with no Wi-Fi. If they really wanted Tupac, if Tupac was really an enemy of the country, do you think they would allow Tupac to get shot, right? Escape the clutch, escape the hospital, and end up somewhere else if they had him right where they wanted him? But anyways, this KVD dude, he's dumb. He's an idiot. Most gang members are idiots. He's dumb. He's dumb. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What's going to happen with this KVD situation, man? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.